It was just a dream. Where am I? Wait. I'm on a backwater planet. Can someone rescue me? Never mind. I apologize for the odd question. You still need to recover your strength. Feel free to rest here a while. We cannot do much, but we do have food. I'm fine. <sighs> no, really. No! You should stay in bed! Please, rest. Don't worry. It is our way to help each other in times of trouble. Sorry. Thanks. It is no problem. Mina, let him get his rest. Okay. He looks so young, but he seems so mature for his age. Just like Sophia.
What's that? It's my treasure box. That music box was passed down through our mother's family. It is the only thing we have left from our parents. But, alas, it is broken now and does not make a sound. I see. Can I have a look? Sure. The gearbox is broken. I can get my hands on the right parts, yes. And I think I know where to get them. It's a little ways away, but I'll go get them later. But we cannot ask you to... You saved my life. Still. And I'm sure that Mina wants it fixed, right? Thank you, good sir. In return, do you think I could get my sword back? I won't be able to go through the forest without it. You swear you are not with Norton and his gang? That I'm not. What? You don't believe me? No, I trust you. Thanks. But be wary. If you are not one of Norton's gang, you will be in even more danger outside the village. I know. I'll be fine.
got to get every nook and cranny for the 100% mount completion. What? What happened? There's no way the inhabitants of this planet... Mm, 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 mm. Wasting any more time here. Uh -huh. Real fight. Ta -ta. Ha -ha. Ha -ha. That was easy. That was fun. Hello there. What a relief! You are well! Norton's gang was lurking around the forest in the direction you left in. We were worried. Nicholas, could you please tell me more about Norton and his gang? Who are they? They raped me. I do not know everything myself. He... Norton appeared suddenly in our village about half a year past. He ordered the village to supply him with food. Of course, we refused at first. The village needs its supplies to survive the harsh winter. Norton was in fact ordering the village to die, but when people refused him, he called upon this mysterious light, and those it touched disappeared, one after the other. Carl, Siren, Kurt, all 
gone. And our father, who resisted until the very end. Of course we told our lord, but he said the idea of people disappearing into thin air was nonsense and didn't want to hear about it. Now some of the villagers have even joined Norton's game. A mysterious light that makes people disappear? Nicholas, when you first met me, you asked me about my clothes and ears, right? Ah, yes. Norton wore clothes made out of a strange material that was neither linen nor cotton, just like the clothes you wear. And his ears were shaped like yours. That is why I did not trust you at first. I apologize. Don't worry about it. your music box. Nicholas, I'm hungry. Let's eat. Ah, yes. Very well. Let us eat. The nigga needs some new clothes. Yes.
What? An attack from behind? That was fun. God damn it. Blade of Fury! What do you think you're doing? What's up, Blade of Fury? What do you think you're doing? What do you think you're doing? So that was bad. easy.
Devon. Kid, what do you want? This... I don't want to fight you guys. I just want to know if you've seen a little boy around here. A little boy? Oh, you mean Nicholas. Yeah, he came around here blabbering about getting something back and wanting to see Lord Norton. Then what did he do? Being the kind-hearted fellas we are, we gave the stupid kid what he wanted. I bet Lord Norton's re-educating the undisciplined little brat right now. What? It's the kid's own fault. Mm. Nothing good can come from messing with Lord Norton. Don't worry. He'll learn it's better to join us than fight us. It's a shame. The apple don't fall far from the tree. Idiocy must run in the family. Ooh, they can talk to you. Rotten little... Whoa there! Didn't I just say you can't pass through here? You wanna see that brat? You gotta beat us first. Thomas, what gives you the right? Looks like we got another village idiot in need of some education. <laughs> Real fight! Blade of Fury! So Nicholas is locked up somewhere in here. I better hurry up and find him.
check it out.
You okay? Fate, why are you here? That's what I want to ask you. You should never have run off like that. The music box parts. I wanted to get them back. I... I could not ask you to do this for us. But that's crazy. It is dangerous here. You... must leave. Quickly. He'll... get you. Nicholas? Hang in there, Nicholas. Must leave. This is bad. Think, think, oh yeah. I could short the battery in my communicator, or wait. I might be stuck here if I lose my communicator. Yeah. What am I thinking? Hold on, Nicholas. Hang in there, Nicholas. He doesn't seem too badly hurt. That's a relief. Huh? Oh, right. My translator was built into that communicator. No time for regrets now. We'd better get out of here. Let's go. Freeze! moves if you want that was a phase gun so you must be Norton yeah that's me I am Norton the Great <laughs> it's so nice to hear genuine turn being spoken huh seems like ages why are you here you're not from this planet are you I'm from Razor boy we're not part of the Federation Razor I've heard of that world. Right. 
That planet filled with joy seekers that keeps rejecting Federation membership. So what are you doing here? This is an underdeveloped planet, you know. Not much to tell. I uh, was involved in this uh, unfortunate accident. Guess it was a bit much even for Razor. So I was sentenced to spend the rest of my days in exile on a deserted planet. But the escort ship they were transporting me on had engine trouble and ended up crash landing here. Can you believe it? All I had to do was mess with their engine codes. Those stupid pilots ended up frying their engines. Oh, man! All I was trying to do was create a distraction so I could make my escape. But we ended up crashing and this planet's become my prison. And the others, Norton? Huh? That's Lord Norton to you. There must have been others. What happened to the other people on the escort ship? Oh, those guys? They're dead, the poor fools. They were trying to send out a distress signal and a bolt of lightning smote them where they stood. That crash part was unfortunate. But no use crying over spilled milk. I've been devoting myself to making this planet my kingdom. You get my drift? So that's why you've been raiding Whipple? Yeah, something like that. You're a smart kid. That's why I was raiding the village, and that's why you gotta die. Sorry. You'll be happy to know I'm gonna make the most of those parts I stripped from your escape pod. It's guys like you. Huh? What the? Ah, uh, there you are. I thought I lost you when your distress signal went out. Might never have found you if it weren't for those explosions. What do you want? You're not one of them Federation guys, are you? Who, me? A Federation soldier? <laughs> yeah, that's a good one. Well then, who are you? Cliff Fitter, a Clausian and member of Quark. A Clausian? Sorry, no time to explain. I'm kind of in a hurry. Just let me have fate, that Earthling boy over there, and I'll be on my way. I don't plan on butting into whatever you got going on over here. How do you know my name? Let's not sweat the details. Suffice it to say, you're my man. Hold it right there, or I'll blast you! Huh? <laughs> you talking to me? You think you could fool me? There's no way a Clausian would come here. You're probably some sort of spy. It's so obvious. <laughs> Look, since I'm such a nice guy, I'm gonna fill you in on a little secret. That gun you have there has no effect on us Clausians. You didn't know that? Shut your pie hole! All right, I'm done lecturing. Time to teach you a lesson. Take that! Oh, real deal. Wait, I'll go easy on you. Stay back!
Well, so much for that guy. But I did try to warn him. I've heard the physical abilities of Clausians far outstrip those of Earthlings, but man, and he said Quark. Wasn't that an anti-Federation group? Looks like I overdid it. Should have held back a little bit. Well, this is about the only thing that still works. The rest is ruined. Here. Is this... a communicator? Can't live without one. I can't figure out why you wouldn't have one with you. Uh... Um... Thanks for getting me out of that mess. You saved my life. Whoa there. Don't go thanking me yet. You see... I've come to abduct you. What? Now, don't get all worked up. I'm not gonna hurt anybody. It's just, my boss wants to meet you. That's why I came all the way out here to find you. Boss? You mean Quark's boss? That's right. Our leader wants to see you. But you've sure made it a tough job. First, I went to Haida and ran into that mess thanks to you. Then, I get here and find you poking your nose into matters better left alone. You make it sound like it was my fault Haida got attacked. Jeez. Just kidding. Don't sweat it. At any rate, I got you now. And I did rescue you, so no complaining. And besides, you want to see your old man, don't you? He's been captured by the Vendini. Dad? But why? Hey, don't ask me. All I know is your old man was abducted from the evacuation facility on Haida. What about my mother? And Sophia? Well, we know your mom's safe. She should have already arrived at remote station number six. I don't know about the girl. I've had my hands full just trying to track down your escape pod. How do you know all this? What else do you know? Not much else. Sorry. Oh yeah. I do know what your old man, Dr. Leingod, was researching. You mean symbological genetics? My dad's an authority in that field, so it's no surprise you've heard of him. Right. Symbological genetics. And 19 years ago... Ah, uh, never mind. That doesn't matter right now. <laughs> Come on. You don't have any other way off this planet, do you? Look, I'm sure things will clear up if you just come with me. Besides, you'll be able to see your old man again. But according to you, my father's been captured by Vendeen. So how could I possibly see him? Simple. Quark will go rescue your old man, too. Why would an anti-Federation group want to help my father? Well, I'll tell you what, it's kind of complicated. Let's not get into that right now. So... Are you coming or not? Okay. I'll go with you. But could we stop by Whipple first? Sure. Whatever. But I still think you shouldn't have gotten involved.
promise. I won't let your efforts go to waste. You done? There. Everything's back to normal, huh? You're wrong. Things aren't back to normal. Nicholas and Mina's parents are gone forever. up quick and get back here. I'll be waiting for you. Okay. Don't keep me waiting too long, kid. Don't worry, he's just asleep. Really? Really? Yeah. 
there. Time for me to go. Goodbye. Escape pod. Our way out lies beyond there. Let's go. Okay. It's me. We're at the location. Transport us up as soon as you can. Huh? Oh, no problem. I got him. I said it's okay. I haven't done anything. Yeah, I know. Now hurry up and get us out of here. My ship will be here soon. Once we're ready, it's good riddance to this hunk of rock. My ship's not so big, but it's packing a gravitic warp engine. It's quite the speed demon. Hey, Cliff? Yeah? There's something I've been meaning to ask you. What's that? Why does Quark's leader want to meet with me? I'm just a college student from Earth! Oh, uh... No comment. <laughs> That's, uh... It's not doing it for you, is it? No, it's not. Let's see. Well, I guess the biggest reason... Nice try, but that's avoiding the question. Why does your leader want to meet with me? Hey, how should I know? I just do what I'm told. And that something is... Well... You'll...
I miss that fucking treasure chest. Let's get a move on. She'll be expecting us. The rendezvous point is Beta 747372406. You got that, Mirage? Roger. Engaging conventional engines, gravitic warp core, normal. Welcome back. Sorry to keep you waiting. This is my navigator and partner in crime. I leave the day-to-day -day operation of the ship to her. Mirage, this is our target. Yes, I knew right away. Nice to meet you, Fate. I'm Mirage Kos. N nice to meet you, too. She's beautiful. Fate, you okay? Oh, and listen, don't fall for her. She may look pretty, but she's a clausy. Any funny ideas, and you're liable to meet a swift yet painful death. Hey, wait a sec. Who said I was falling for anyone? Relax, I would... I was wondering, just how long will it take till we get to your leader? Uh, we'll be there soon. It's about three hours to the rendezvous point. Mirage, I'm gonna go take a shower. I'm leaving you in charge. Oh, Cliff, it looks like you can forget that shower. Huh? What is it? I've just detected a gravitic space anomaly up ahead. I'm bringing us out of gravitic space to avoid it. You serious? You think it's hostile? We're back in conventional space. Two Vendini battleships detected 400,000 kilometers ahead. An ambush, huh? Man. It's bad enough having to worry about Federation shit. Open up a comm link. Hold on. Connection confirmed. Uh... <clears throat> this is the Eagle, a Clausian ship. We don't want any trouble with you. You're wasting your time. The enemy ships are already prepared to attack. Seems they know who we've got on board. It'll be tough without using gravitic warp, but we've got no choice. Reverse course. Conventional engines, full power. Roger. Full power to rear shields. And let me see a chart for this region. All right. Course 116, mark 267. Activate auto evasion program. Fasten crew safety harnesses. Roger. Course entry complete. Hey, feeling lucky, kid? Uh. We've evaded round one from the enemy's disruptor cannon. Nearing objective point. All right, as soon as we're there, go into gravitic warp. Gravitic warp is currently non-functional. I got a hunch it'll function the moment we reach the objective point. Get us on a straight line between the ships and that planet. Then pop us up star side. We'll open up the distance that way. Very well. But we won't be able to designate our warp destination. Well, we're toast if we stay here, Mirage. Anyhow, space is big, right? Our odds ain't that bad. You got a hunch? Roger. Enemies fired again. Four rounds now approaching. Four, huh? This is gonna be close. 
Either we enter Gravitic War first or we get pumped. Now's the time to pray, gentlemen. Unfortunately, it looks like we might lose the race. Here comes the first round now, and we're seven... Ah, who cares if we take a few rounds? Warp engine damaged, but... You bet it is. Activate Gravitic Warp. thrown off the Vendini ships. Phew! Yes, but now we're pretty far from the rendezvous point. Well, it can't be helped. Besides, it won't hurt to make her wait a little longer. Let's take our time. Wow, your hunch really paid off. Finally, some respect. Yeah, a healthy respect for your recklessness. What is that supposed to mean? A little more honesty would be nice. Like, hey, that cliff sure is something. Or, you're a genius, Cliff. Sorry to interrupt while you're having so much fun. What is it, Mirage? The gravitic warp core is overheating. We should reduce speed immediately. The engine will scram if we don't. What? Didn't I specifically request that you tell me these things sooner? Get back to conventional space, pronto. Roger. Bad news. Now what? Both the conventional and gravitic warp engines have scrammed. The backup engine isn't functioning either. I'd say we have a problem. Damn it! Where are we now? We're currently within Elicor 2's gravitational field. If all our energy sources are shot, then we can't communicate either. Well, I'm sure she'll figure out something happened to us after we don't show up when we're supposed to. One would hope so. Well, Mirage, come up with something. I'll see what I can do. What can we do? Aren't all the engines scrammed? For starters, we gotta land before we crash. Then, we wait to be rescued. Great plan. Look, my mission is to bring you to our leader. Until then, I'll watch out for you. Trust me. You're as safe as... Uh, as a turtle in its shell. A turtle dropping out of orbit. Huh? Did you say something? Nothing. We'll be entering into Elicor 2's atmosphere in another 30... And keep wagging those tongues and you'll bite them off. I wouldn't want either of you to die of blood loss. Yes, Roger. What is that thing? A city. Not to mention we're out of power. And the helm is out of whack. You should be happy to be alive. <sighs> I guess this is no time to be worrying about the UP3. What do we do now?
the way! Oh. What's this? One of Aquarius' new weapons? Just a second. Even minimal contact with the inhabitants of an underdeveloped planet will get us in trouble. Besides, we have no idea what they'll do to us once we're out there. You got any better ideas? I hate to point this out, but I think we've already made contact. Rather forcefully, anyway. Well, still. They won't kill us right away. Another hunch? Come on, trust me. Didn't we make it here safely? I tell you, my hunches are always right. How about that time when we almost crashed into that asteroid because of that hunch? Oh, but that was one time. One time. At any rate, I don't think we have any other choice. What do you think they'll do? Probably be taken prisoner. You say it like you don't even care. Yeah, but only you and I will. No? What about Mirage? We'll have Mirage wait until later to make an escape. Mirage, stay until nightfall, then leave under the cover of darkness. Right. That shouldn't be a problem. But Mirage? All alone? <laughs> You're forgetting. She's a closet. She'll be fine. I pity the soldier that tries to take her. Want me to come rescue you? Nah, no need. There'll probably be too many of them anyway. We'll think of something. You scout around and find a way to contact the Dipper. Don't put yourself in danger trying to hook up with us. They should be able to home in on our position as long as we make contact. They can come get us then. Roger. All right, time to go. Be careful. Thanks. You too, Mirage. Cliff. I said it'll be okay. I'm counting on you. Okay. Was it? We believe it to be a new Aquarian weapon, Your Majesty. We have the two crew members locked up in the dungeon. Very well. Continue with your investigation and step up the pace of the invasion of Arius. If the enemy has indeed brought a new weapon into active service, then time is of the essence. Your Majesty. Well, thank you, Hiltar. If this object that has fallen on our city is truly a new Aquarian weapon, then we are in trouble. Lord Waltar appears to lack confidence. Harry Glyph has your Storm Brigade cavalry, Albel's Black Brigade heavy cavalry, and my winged dragon. They stand no chance against. Their weapons have proven themselves little threat to us. Pride comes before the fall. Surely a measure of prudence would do us no harm. Right, Albel? <laughs> if they're the enemy, we kill them. If they aren't, we dispose of them. Simple. If only things were as simple as you say. Regardless, we have yet to see any evidence the object is a new Aquarian weapon. 
My men have already begun to interrogate the crew members. They'll talk before long. The Inquisitor? He is the best. As long as they do not die. You speak absurdities. Prisoners, if they die as a result. Compared to you, that may be true. What's the big deal? Just find out whether they're enemies or not. We know what we have to... If we do kill them, we'll make sure they caught... I certain. That will be quite enough. In... Box. Continue your int... Yes. Why don't play nice? That thing you were... Aquaria? Ah! <coughs> <coughs> Yo, you all right? Yeah, I'm fine. Ah, uh, ouch. You don't look fine. Look who's talking. Well, yeah, but I'm more used to torture than you are. Because you're a member of an anti-federation organization. You could say I've been around. What could I do? It's not like they'd believe me if I told them I came from outer space. Good point. Why'd you let them catch you anyway? Huh? Nah. It would have been too much of a hassle. A hassle? Yeah, a pain in the butt. I couldn't just leave you there anyway. And I kind of wanted to see what was going on firsthand. So? As a matter of fact, I did. What? The whips on this planet hurt too. Very funny. Say... Aquaria? The interrogator kept mentioning it. Huh. Must be... So what? I'm thinking you got that right. <sighs> These restraints are pretty solid. <sighs> Damn! They're too tight! Um, that's why... Don't bother me with semantics, kid. Do you think Mirage got a... 